hello guys how you all doing today i have this quick video to talk about how to regulate your nervous system some of us that come from africa or just any part of the world that sadly growing up you've been through injustice pain and torture and just strict home abusive home abusive system if in though they might call it culture or just that's how the way it is or whatever the reason why they're doing that sadly this can lead to you growing up and having your nervous system that is going to be all over the place especially when you're continuing to face that stress so this video again is going to be one of my videos that is unedited just post it the way it is and i'm going to try my best to make it short like 10 minutes or so just to explain how to regulate your nervous system this is the system that i use and some of it I learned from different people. Some of it I just come up with it and it works for me. But mainly the stuff that I'm talking about is stuff that I learned from expert of mental health, health in general, well-being, how to regulate stress. This stress can also be caused by work or just family, children, life in general, you know. It's not just you have to grow up from certain home and stuff like this in order to have um, this type of problem or nervous system that is all over the place. So don't forget to like and share the video to anyone that you know that might need to hear this. Either they might want to hear it just for entertainment or they might want to pass on the message to someone else who might need this or themselves might need this. So yeah guys, let's jog on to the video. Excuse the fact that it's raining today, cloudy, and that's why the, the window is um the window light that i'm using is not too bright sadly but yeah i got some rain background here as well um that is playing from youtube and i hope it's not monetized because then this video is just gonna be for free and hopefully even they will not ban me i don't mind posting free videos that because i use something that is monetized i'm not gonna get nothing from it but i don't want youtube to create me problem you know what's the english word like youtube to like not happy with me for posting um um the other content from another creator you know but it's not about the money i don't mind because people need to hear this yeah so yeah number one you can do is you can try to listen to something relaxing that is your choice it could be rain i love rain i like to listen to rainfall or i like to listen to um um bird singing like you know like a forest slash nature type of video or i like to listen to calm piano music or also you can listen to the quran is very calming if you are someone that like the quran or anything that is coming for that matter but the worst thing is for you to be stressed or have a stressful day in general and it's about time for you to go to bed or you just want to relax and you're gonna listen to something that is stressful it can be you're watching a movie watching the news or just you're on the phone or on whatsapp especially if you are on every whatsapp group and they normally post negative stuff of stuff or you can be watching a video, doesn't matter what you're watching. Or having the conversation or thinking about it. But you should definitely stay away from something stressful when you are stressed and you have time to relax. Or it's about time to go to bed. Yeah? Okay, that's the number one. Number two, which I think should be number one, <laughs> is you're meant to be eating healthy. Oh my God, guys. I can't scream enough, but I, I, I woke up and I went back to bed. So I woke up not long, which is why my voice is like this. And it's Ramadan, I can't drink water, so I need to calm down with the screaming. Because I'm too loud for the most part, especially when I'm talking about something that I'm passionate about. But yeah, the healthy eating can help you with your overall health, nervous system, sleep, beauty, as you can see. I just came out of the shower. Like I said, it's not bright, but you can see my skin and my body. And this is just clear video, no edited, absolutely nothing. Yeah, you can see me. Yeah, you can see me. Yeah, uh huh. You can see me. And this is me, 43 years old. Since I came back from Gambia, I'm trying to do intermittent fasting. And now that Ramadan is here, it's helping me more. But also, I'm trying to eat more healthier and just trying to do some long walks and avoiding food at night and drinking more water, drinking mohenga, habiscus, baobab, 
and just healthy stuff in general trying my best yeah although i don't do it overdo it or do particular thing every day or something like that but i mix i mix them here and there you know i also been taking vitamin d now for almost a year or over a year now and the ramadan is difficult because i don't know i'm not used to taking it in the evening i can take it in the morning only because i think i read somewhere that it can give you energy but and i also forget to take it in the evening when i break my fast but <laughs> So I've been taking collagen as well, which my collagen finished. That was my second pot of collagen, but it's finished. And I've been taking um, um, organic um, fish oil as well, which my last fish oil finished now. That was also my second pot of it. Um, sorry, the bottle. And I've been taking black seed oil as well for years now, but it's not something that I take the whole year or keep taking it every day. It's like I'll buy one bottle and it will finish and I'll stay for a couple of months or just replace it straight away or stay for a couple of months before I can get another one. But you should buy that as well, black seed oil. And if you can take it every day, that's very good. But you can always take a break. You don't have to take one particular thing every day forever as I don't know if it might be healthy for you, yeah? I'm not a doctor, so be careful and ask your doctor, especially if you're on medication or you're on any health condition, um, ask your doctor, yeah? Mm -hmm. But also what, uh, I've been taking um, magnesium, yeah. Magnesium is something that is known to be very good also for your health and stuff like this. I've been taking it for, this is also again the second or third magnesium. And again, because of the Ramadan, I've not been taking them regularly. Yeah, but the things that I normally take every day are these things that I mentioned here. Yeah? But there's so many good stuff out there that you can take. I also like to have more and more anti tea. If you're from Gambia or Senegal, you might know this or other part of the world, but they might call it something else. If you know how to call it in English, write it down, please. I sell them, by the way, and I sell the Mohinga powder myself and the leaf of the baobab tree, which is called Sungufilalo in my language. It's quite slimy, but it's very good and extremely healthy. I sell it as well. I use it for cooking and now talking about it, one, two. I'm thinking, can I cook it today? I don't know, but we'll see. Supilalo gui is one of the best healthy food, but you can just mix it with warm water and a little bit of honey. So it's easy to drink it and drink it quickly like this. Extremely good for your health and skin and everything. Also, the baobab itself, extremely good for your health, energy, skin, immune system. Mohinga powder, again, good for health, energy, immune system. Overall, around 30 health benefit for just Mohinga powder alone. And all this other stuff that I mentioned that I like, hibiscus and the rest. Fruit and vegetable and water and the rest. <laughs> so, I do like unhealthy food. I don't mind, for example, having pizza or a piece of chocolate or something that is not healthy but every single day almost every single day of my life when i have access to healthy food and water i'm gonna eat them yeah even if i'm gonna eat the unhealthy for example yeah for example you can have pizza and you can have a cup of moringa powder and hot water you see what i mean so at least you have the both okay so just to remind you that in order to have the um uh, the, the nervous system regulated you to sleep well you to have a long healthy life in general nervous system regulated or no make sure you eat healthy drink water avoid chemical like alcohol cigarette vaping wheat drugs all different stuff out, out there now avoid them all if you are on one of them i'm begging you please especially if you are muslim use this ramadan to pray whenever you're breaking your fast you can do it keep telling yourself i can do this i'm free from this i'll never ever do this the moment it comes to your mind keep calling your god's name distract yourself with something positive go for a walk go for a run do, run do push up do do um uh, uh squat do something to tire yourself go have a shower or a bath go to sleep Think positive, listen to positive stuff, regulate your nervous system so you can have a good sleep. Keep going. It's normally going to take three days, four days, five days. And the one week is the first four days of the one week is harder. After two weeks, you're free. You're not even going to want this anymore. I'm telling you. And you keep going. You will never want it. Know your self-worth and your self-value is going to guide you from getting rid of anything that is not good for you. If you want me to do a special video for that, let me know. Unless